Welcome back everyone, Larry Satchwell here with part two of the closet redo. Here I'm sanding the front edge of the plywood because I want to use some wood banding, the iron-on type. I've never used it before, but I already did one board and I wasn't real impressed with it. So I tried to smooth down the edge a little bit, got the iron as hot as it would go, and went really slow and uh, got it down pretty well. I wasn't real impressed with this. I usually use real wood, but I was trying to save time and money in doing this. I think I'll go back to real wood in the future. They sell a little gadget, over $12, almost $13, to cut the edges off here smooth, but I found that if I just angled my orbital sander a little bit to one side, it would take down the edge pretty fast. I tried my plane, I tried a knife, and this was what worked best for me. My wife and I had an old hand-me-down dresser that we used for years and years. It was really ugly, full of hardwood, uh, full of plastic and particle board. The thing weighed a ton. We threw it out, but we saved these drawers. I saved the drawers because uh, they were really solid. I don't like putting screws. I'm gonna use um, full extension slides here. I don't like using screws into particle boards, so where they slid on little plastic runners before, I glued in a piece of wood and uh, nailed it down. The front was really ugly. It had uh, looked like paper, wood, uh, wood green on paper. So I used some quarter inch Luon and just glued that down and uh, made it look like real wood, because it was. We needed a pole for this and I didn't want to spend any money on pole. I had plenty of scraps around. So I used this bull nose bit and took several passes and got it deep enough. I'm going to use this on top of the drawer and this is a little finger catch so you can pull it out really easily. After that it was just a matter of going back and forth to the miter saw and trimming these fronts out to hide the quarter inch Luon that I just put on there. Once I got everything built and ready to paint I took it outside and put two coats of white paint on it. Looking forward to hanging these pretty shortly, but that's where we are today. Stay tuned, we're going to get this thing done. Once I had everything painted, well almost painted, I ran out of paint. I did the math and made a shim so I could set the drawer slides on top of that and install this drawer unit because it's going to hang independently on the French cleats. The easiest way to do that is to put the slides on and then pull the drawer out a little bit and attach it and then attach the next one. Once I got the first drawer in I had to figure out the math for the spacing in between the drawers. And that took a little bit of uh, trial and error. On the first attempt I was half an inch off so I recut this uh, quarter inch Luan into the shims so I could set the slides right on top of it and then drill those in and then I had to cut another two inch spacer to set on top of that drawer to hold the next drawer. Once I had it figured out it went really fast. So it's going to be four drawers here and uh, these are for my wife. Really hard to do this with one hand. I don't have one of those fancy Rockler jigs that uh, hold and tell you exactly where to screw. So I do the best I can.
So once they're all in, I need to get some more paint. They've been approved by my wife, so they're ready to hang. Thanks for watching.